overtime. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Delaware, my niggas is ready. Yeah. Yes, sir. Delaware, my niggas is ready. Yeah. Yeah. Delaware, my niggas is ready. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Check right now. RP Bobby. Indeed, 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 man. Really? Is that Delaware's best song right there in your mind? Um, it's Delaware's most popping song, most known song they played every, at every function, you know what I'm saying? Get the crowd going every single time. Everybody has the two step every single time. Bobby Dimes out Delaware gets them going every time. Now, rest in peace, them always, but yes, sir. It's Delaware's most popular song. I think Delaware's best song right now is celebrating its one year anniversary. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't even know you released it. Did Did you do the beat too? Oh no, my man's uh Mike C Crazy did that out of um VA. Mike C Crazy. Now he's stationed in Cali right now. But yeah, shout out to Mike. He's trying to make the whole Cali move. Like how you making it, man? In terms of that, is that's how you trying to do? I guess it runs in the circle. I guess. I guess it runs in the circle. Well, sir, let me deal with this for the people that don't or getting to start to know you all the way for those that may have seen or at least heard about Adam Sandler's hustle movie on Netflix. Well, this person right here that I'm joined alongside to is in that film in his first film ever, like ever, ever. Like you don't even have nope. it. And this man has no technical acting school whatsoever with that. So yep. can you explain yeah. to those for those that are just seeing now, because I know a bit of it, but it's mm -hmm. still a so entire story that a lot of people don't know. How did you end up not only in hustle, but getting the line and then saying, Is this who I think it is? <laughs> it's Irving, sir. Oh yeah, yeah. All glory to God, first of all. But um it's kind of crazy how it all happened. Um so my cousin sent me this flyer that they were um, they were having auditions for background at um, the field house in Delaware. There's a, a 76ers field house in Delaware, Wilmington, Delaware. So I, I was like, all right, I guess I'll go. Basketball, whatever. I'll try it. Adam Sandler movie, why not? So I get there. I didn't know the flyer went viral. So it's like people from... California there, people from across the country there drove nine hours just to get this. I'm like, wow, the line is out the door all the way around, wrapped around. I'm like, dang, it's like that? It's like, all right. So we had to fill out this uh, paper, fill out COVID, all that stuff. Um, so we get in there. It's three courts. And it's like a court for just people that just showed up because of the hype. The middle court was like, I guess, college athletes and people that could somewhat play. And then the last court was like professional athletes and like high level college athletes. Mm -hmm. So the, I'm, I, I actually went twice, okay? Now before you go, you technically were a high level college athlete, may not be involved. Yes. But yeah, it was track and, track and field. So I put that on the paper. Yeah. I put that I was a high jumper, collegiate high jumper, D1 high jumper on the paper. Mm -hmm. And so I went in, the lady told me to go to the second court, but I went with my friend, Devin, and they pushed us to the first court because there's too many people on the second court. So we go on the, fir the first court and I'm hooping, you know, hooping, hooping, hooping. I dunk on somebody, the dude watching was like, oh, good job, good job. Oh, you posted somebody there, golf? I had, I mean, it's a movie. You got to do what you got to do for the oh, movie. I you do, but you guys <laughs> wanted to do it and then actually do it. Actually do it, but I had to show out. It's three on three basketball, three on three half court setting. Yeah. So I did I did that, but I'm like, there's nobody watching us. 
And so I'm like, okay, that's weird. So I walk out before I leave the building. I, I happen to look to the right of me at the far court. There's cameras, there's lights, and there's people um, giving interviews to the people over there. I'm like, hmm, mm-hmm. I got to get on that side because nobody's watching me over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I drop my friend off and I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm thinking to myself, should I go back? Should I not go back? It ends at two. It's still early. I can still go back. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just change my clothes and go. So I changed my clothes and go. Now I know what to look, what to say on the paper. I say, I'm a professional dunker. I did this, 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 and this, and this. <laughs> <laughs> I did this, 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 and this. Um, hand of papers. I had my mask on. First time I didn't, I didn't have my mask on. So I'm like, okay, so they don't recognize me. Put my mask on, gave him the paper. He was like, oh, professional dunker, you need to go all the way over to the other court. They need to see you. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I get over there, ball out again. And then what happened? A few weeks happen, a few weeks go by. I'm like, dang, they didn't call me. Mm-hmm. I guess it didn't happen. So then it's like four weeks, boom. August, the first the first week of August, he's like, hello, the, uh, this is Oliver from Hustle, the movie you tried out for a couple weeks ago. I'm like, okay, cool, we got it, right? So initially I was just supposed to be in the background, just the, you know, extra, basketball extra. Yeah, yeah. So we, so we get on set and the person that they have saying the line that I said, I guess they didn't like the way he sounded. So they had us all line up in a row and say the line. Wow. And they, they ended up choosing me. So I thank God for the opportunity and hopefully there's more. How but, yeah. many how many were on that line to do the, the say? So in total, um, that went on that day, it was probably about 15, 20. Wow. So yeah, out of 20, yeah, it was me. And you king of the hell out of 20, man. <laughs> Jesus on that all the way. Yes, wow. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow, man. That is something incredible there because it's something where, especially how we bond throughout, especially throughout two years ago, it's something mm-hmm. where I almost had thought that our good friend, or at least like in terms of good, like professional people all the way, Vivian Payton, shout out to her all the way with that, you know, helped you. But you did that on your own, own, man. Yeah, off the, off the muscle. Off the, off the striking high opportunity, yeah. Let me ask you, for anybody that was on set that you dealt with that day, whether Adam Sandler, whether Julius or whatnot, anyone that was not a celebrity there, like, did you get a chance to talk to them here and there? Like, um, so uh, Dr. J wasn't actually on the set because they couldn't mm-hmm. figure out whether it was going to be Dr. J or Dirk, Nowi- Dirk Nowitzki. But I actually did get to uh, meet Queen Latifah, uh, Juan Cho, the basketball player. Um, Tobias Harris was there on set, and Adam Sandler was there as well. So I got to talk to them, and he was coaching me and telling me how to say the line and don't say it so loud. Just whisper it to him, like, yo, is that who I think it is? Like, stuff like that. So it was really cool, and he was encouraging me all the way. So it was cool. It was a really great experience. What's been the best reaction of many so far to boys them seeing this Delaware Sun saying the, the guy that they knew, like having a big line, at least in terms of one of the more popular movies out right now. Yeah, so um, it's not really the most. So everybody particularly says the same exact thing, right? So they say, I know he's in this movie, but the movie's so good, I forget that he's in the movie. And then he just pops up on the screen and he's like, oh, we want to rewind these back. He's rewinding. Oh, he's rewinding. So, yeah, that's pretty That's pretty much everybody. Like, within my family, my friends, they'd be like, yo, he's in, I know he's in the movie, but the movie's really good. So I, for, I forgot to look for you. And I'm just watching the movie. And all of a sudden, boom, you pop up on the screen and it's crazy. So, yeah, it was really a blessing. It's really a blessing. Let me ask you this real quick, man, before we roll out on this. If Kyrie Irving has a second Uncle Drew, first off, we, we got to react to this. I got to get react because we could have be in Twitter spaces all that if we weren't doing this now or just anything right now in terms of discussion. Kyrie mm-hmm. Irving returning to the Brooklyn Nets. So first, before I ask you if there's an Uncle Drew too or whatnot, and they have, need to call you out for the role with that, what's your thoughts on this man when it seemed like he was going to roll out? is now staying in 
here in Brooklyn. It's, it's confirmed that he's staying? Well, he's opting in. So he's opting in to the contract that for his final year that he was going to opt out of. Okay. And that's why people thought, oh, now Lakers, they could be traded mm-hmm. on all mm-hmm. that. So you have any – because it hit me just now in the last hour. I, I know, because that's your home, bro. That's your home. So, um – but, yeah, but, but I'm a Knicks fan, though, God. Don't get it twisted. I'm a Knicks fan. I'm not. Okay, you're Knicks fan. Okay, you're okay. Okay, word, okay, word, word. Word. okay, word. Okay, word. Okay, word. Gentrifiers. But um, I don't know, man. I feel like the whole situation for him was very uh toxic in a way. I don't know on whose part, but um, it just feels very discombobulated and unorganized. So for me, if it was for me, I would try to go to where somewhere where I could be successful. I know I could be successful and been successful before instead of trying to make something out of nothing when last year was a, like a mess, you know? Yeah. Are you that's more, just me. Are you more of a Sixers fan? Or I'm Sixers. I'm Sixers. Oh, I'm Sixers all the way. I'm Sixers all the way. Speaking of mess, James Harden, after he left the mess, because Kyrie did the shot. listen. Listen, Is listen. Do you want him to come listen. back that money? Yes, yes. The hey. reason being, the reason being, he was hurt that year, right? So he had the hamstring injury. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna show them I still got it in one game. So I'm gonna get 30 one game, but I'm still hurt. I don't wanna, I don't wanna make it to the finals. I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna work this summer. Okay, we'll see. And I'm going I'm to I'm get everything together with my man's Joel. And then they have more time. I honestly feel like they should have waited to the offseason to make that trade. Mm. But they did what they did. But, um, yeah, hopefully Ben's okay, too. Shout out to Ben. Oh, look at you, man. Get, the re- see, this is when you know you're from Delaware and not from Philly. Because if you were from Philly, you'd be like, oh, oh you hate. Hey. Like, we, we roasted him when we come back. I had my, I had my, I had my moments. I had my moments, but then at the end of the day, everybody's human and everybody goes through things. So you know, what I'm saying shout out to him, and I, I really did like him, bro. He was cool people, man. Mm-hmm. But then he just like, yeah, I don't yeah. know, I don't, I don't know. Oh, uh, a lot of people don't know. Let's just say that up here with that man. As I was mentioning, if Kyrie had an uncle Drew too, oh, sign me up. You there? Sign me up. Sign me up. Just right. let me know. Just All let right. me know. Sign me up. I, I think, honestly, that would be a time where he could get some sense of getting the comedy of God, Chocolate Warner with that. All the yes, way. Sir. Final question for you, man, right here. I would not be remiss because we met literally at least two years ago at the side through Sydney McLaughlin whole shows on IG. Mm-hmm. That's how the whole bond started with that, man. Did yep. you get a chance to see any of the U.S. Outdoor Championships? Just I actually, I actually did. Um, shout out to my man Shelby McEwen. He won the high jump. Oh, yes, he did, man. Um, yeah, I seen Sydney. She broke the record again, her own record. That's tough. Crazy. Um, Daniel Roberts. He won. Uh, what else did I see? Shakiri oh, missing um, the one and two. Shakiri. Man. I feel like she was overhyped because of the the band last year, and I feel like she needs to learn how to humble herself more and and come back to earth. Cause she got after the band, she got all the publicity, all the everything. People just filling her head, and then I guess she's back into reality now. So hopefully, I I know she'll be. I know she'll bounce back. No doubt about that. At least shout out great Ronaldo Nehemiah, her agent, all the way. But um, mm-hmm. really having to do. Just that. Sir Warner, tell them where they find you, even though if they see the Instagram link, they're going to see how okay. it is. But tell them all the handles, including pop that Twitter handle, man, too. You got to take that over. All right, listen. Branding 101, everything is the same. TikTok, Garf Chocolate. Instagram, Garf Chocolate. Mm. Um, Twitter, Garf Chocolate. Mm. Um, YouTube, Garf Chocolate. Facebook. I don't really get on Facebook, but it's Garth Warner, not Garth Chocolate. Because <laughs> I had that since I was young, before Garth Chocolate. But yeah. Well, well, you get the thing for that all the way for all of them, including the Facebook name, having the government all the way. Give a round of applause to this side. Garth Chocolate with it. And the clothes with it.
Buddy Shine instead of even Jay Z with it. We got a young Buddy Shine right here. I know I can't tell if y'all testing my face. I'm dropping with it right now. We are out here in this edition of Home Road Overtime. We're going to catch you for the next one. Delaware, be proud of yourself right here in the MVP.